you know, there's been something that's been crossing my mind for a while now. And I know it's kind of weird for me to do like a recording before SmackDown, but you know, I've got time, so I may as well. I wanted to make a quick discussion video. Now, I know I haven't had much time to do to do it. I think it's A because I think I've been pretty lazy over the past few weeks. You know, last week I didn't really post many videos after Raw and SmackDown reviews because normally I do like discussions in between. But I got really uh. Oh, excuse me. My apologize. My my apologies. Um. Yeah, I wasn't really active a lot last week. My um. My Dragon Ball Super review came out late. Can't did it on Monday instead of Sunday, because that's normally when they do super. But. You know, been out playing cricket. I was out playing cricket on Sunday, so pretty tired. My raw review came out a bit late because I had cricket training on set on Tuesday, and I'm expected to do more on Thursday. So today, at least, I'm able to be free. So what's the making of this video, Patrick? What's what? Why are you making this video? Why are you here? Why are you here recording? Well, I wanted to make a quick video about something that that I brought up in my raw review that I don't think many people um, probably paid attention to. And also, guys, um, the mixed match challenge is going to be on, uh, going to be on tonight as well, or today, I should say, is going to be on today as well. Um, I I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I don't know how many people have Facebook. Uh, I'm guessing King Schmidt probably doesn't have Facebook, so he probably won't be able to watch it either. But I do have Facebook, by the way. Um. Smackdown is finishing up the uh, second round game, setting up the finals. I mean, come on. I think we all know Smackdown. Um, Smackdown's looking like the same same show, but instead of this time, you got Becky and Riot in a tag match. So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. But but we'll see what happens on Smackdown today, because I tolerate Smackdown. I can tolerate Smackdown more than I can tolerate Raw, but. I guess I better get on with um, what I'm trying, what I'm, what I should be talking about. What I, what I wanted to com what I wanted to um, talk about is that um, what I wanted to talk about is the fact that um, on Raw. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. I'm losing time of thought here. Um, I wanted to talk about um, Monday Night Raw's women's segment, not the one with Sasha. I mean, I've gone over my thoughts on Sasha. You know, it wasn't her fault. You, know, you can, you can, but maybe I should have gone more in depth into it. But, but I know it wasn't Sasha Banks' fault. But. Let's get on with what I'm going to talk about before I before I'm making before I am realizing that I'm making a useless video. Um, this video is about um, the Alexa Bliss Nia Jax stuff. Now, I have been pretty vocal on this whole idea. What I thought of, what was going through my mind, and what I had thought of in my brain was the fact that um, I wanted, I was thinking of wanting to see um, 
Alexa Bliss turn face. Um, now, the reason why I want to see this is because, to me, I, I, I want to say this to you guys right now. Regardless what what people what regardless what you uh, people think of the idea, I feel like a face. Uh, I I feel like a face Alexa should happen because, I mean, like think about it. She's been a heel for a very long time. She's been a heel since think since 2015, 2016. She's been a heel for so long that. I've totally forgotten she's ever been a face. That's how long she's been a heel. And I really feel like that Alexa's going through that same period where she's just being a dominant champion and then when she loses her championship, something's going to happen to her. I mean, like, examples. AJ Lee in 2013. She was Divas champion for 295 days. Lost the title to Paige. And then she turned face. Nikki Bella, same thing. 301 days as Divas Champion. Then lost her title. Came back in 2016. Turned face. And then Carmella switched into a heel. Charlotte Flair was the same thing. Heel. In 2016. And then and summer 2017. And then moved over to SmackDown. Turned face. You know, like... When... Like, you go through that stage. It's like you go through that stage of being a heel, then, then they're like, okay, well, now we're going to switch you. And I feel like Alexa is obviously... I feel like Alexa should be that next person. Nia Jax. Nia Jax needs to turn on Alexa in this whole storyline. Why do they have her turn on her after Alexa loses the Women's Championship to Oscar... Or whether they have any ideas on having Alexa turn heel, or having um having um Nia turn on Alexa before WrestleMania, but it feels like they're really going forward with. To me, it really feels like they're going forward with um, Alexa and Oscar for WrestleMania, and I really don't want that. I really don't want that, but it feels like that's what they're gonna go for. And I, I really think that they should take the title from Alexa, but there, there's really nobody on Raw that can legitimately take the title from her. I mean, like, Sasha's going through her punishments, and Bailey is pretty much irrelevant and useless, and Mickey James, yeah, she's not really that important. She's not really that important. The only person that could have legitimately taken the title from Alexa was Paige. Paige was the only person that could have. Maybe they could have Nia. You know, maybe they could have Nia. I think if they really want to take the title of Alexa and really try and portray Alexa into a face role, is that they could have Nia Jax. You know, they could have Nia Jax win the title off Alexa at Elimination Chamber. But I really don't think they're going to do that with Nia. I really th feel like now it's set in stone that it's going to be Oscar and Alexa for WrestleMania. And it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame that Alexa's uh, second title reign, or is it third? Not second, because she's a four-time women's champion overall. That her second Raw Women's Championship reign is just become is just bec is just being turned into a uh, a championship run that means nothing, and she's just going to be a champ, and she's only being a transitional champion until they found someone worthy on taking that title from her. That's pretty much what Alexa was. She was just a, a transitional champion. And and that's not what I see in Alexa. I don't see Alexa as a... And I don't see that in Alexa. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And there's really nothing else... Um, There's nothing really anything else like we can do about it. But um but yeah, I really think turning Alexa face wouldn't be a bad idea. I know there will be people out there who will disagree with me. But I mean, if you just think about this think about this uh 
Logically, guys. If you just think about this logically, you would think in the end you'd be like, yeah, I guess you got a point. But, overall, that's just my thoughts. I think Alexa should turn its face. This is just another little quick short video I wanted to make. I might put this video up after my Smackdown review, or maybe I'll put this up now, so then people can have a little quick listen. This is not going to be too long, but all I want to say is, guys, that I think that, in my honest opinion, it, it, it's like I said in my Raw review, if this storyline is not setting up Alexa to turn face, then I don't know what the hell is going on. And I know a lot of people might think, well, it obviously isn't going to set up Alexa Bliss turning face. I think it should, because Nia Jax is involved in this. Nia Jax is involved in this, and I think Alexa, maybe having, Ale maybe, maybe having Alexa lose her title to Oscar, and it may be Alexa realizing her ways, and she can just change, maybe she can change her ways. That's probably what you can do. Maybe, like, Alexa loses her title to Oscar and admits everything, all the bad things she did was wrong. And then Nia Jax just decides to come out and snap. You know? You know, I want a heel Nia. I don't want a heel. I don't want, I want a heel Nia. I don't want to face Nia. It's like, it's like I've said, like, this whole Nia Enzo situation. This whole Nia Enzo situation. They should both be heels, and it, and it's and it's very obvious that you need Enzo, and Nia is heels. I know a lot of people probably won't care uh, about about this feud, but it, it, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Whether if you like the idea or not, it is something to keep an eye on. And I think, and 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 I think, it would be a good opportunity to turn Alexa face. I just really think it's a good opportunity to turn her face in this whole situation with Nia Jax. Maybe after WrestleMania. I would say that. After WrestleMania, you can turn her face. Rather, if you want to move Alexa over to SmackDown, or if you want to keep her on Raw, that's really if they do another Superstar Shake-Up, which I hope they do. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this little quick video I wanted to make. Hopefully, people... Um, Hopefully people have um, understood where I've come from in this and why I believe Alexa should turn face because I really would prefer an Alexa Bliss face turn. Let me know your thoughts down below on this little quick discussion before SmackDown and, and I'll see you guys at my SmackDown review.